Hi, I'm Francesca Hayward and I'm here with Elle to talk about my beauty truths. My first memory of wearing makeup for the stage um, was probably when I was doing Swan Lake with the Royal Ballet when I was very small, I was about 13 years old and obviously the look for Swan Lake is very dramatic and I think we probably overdid it on the first go so we had like really really strong eyebrows and really heavy like long lines on our face so I think since then I've learnt that you don't need to go that far um, but yeah it was definitely like a big learning curve to start in that way. As a student, a ballet student, you're definitely expected to look um, neat and tidy and presentable. You know, you don't want to come in looking as tired as you feel, so definitely makeup helps that. I've had particular teachers that even encouraged us to wear lipstick um, because they said it made you look more professional and more presentable. So yes, I had a teacher that she actually wouldn't let us start ballet class until we had our red lipstick on. <laughs> the reason I started wearing makeup as a teenager, I remember, looking you know in the mirror in the car on the way to school and thinking why do I look so tired I wish I could change that then learning about makeup and finding my first concealer pen learning how to do it very naturally and subtly so that the teachers wouldn't notice but that was kind of you know the first time I realized that how powerful makeup is because it you know it helps you like yourself more so that's how I started and now I've gone on this journey where I create all these different looks and can be really bold about them and do things that I never would have imagined. But then also now I've got to the point where I feel comfortable without it all as well. And kind of I've gone full circle. So if I have worn a lot of makeup, even if I want to have a very bare face, I suppose if I couldn't live without one thing, it would just be my concealer. <laughs> Whether I'm going out for the evening or I'm going on stage, I always make sure that my skin and my, my base is always me looking my best and then I build from there whether I'm being myself or whether I'm being another character. That's always where I start from. I guess the, the feminist inside of me is always a bit like, but I don't, if I don't want to, I don't have to. <laughs> but that's why I think it's just so important that you wear makeup because it feels right for you. It's my choice. I know that if I didn't want to wear any as well, that's totally fine. Makeup is the most transformative thing about going on stage as well as your costume and your headdress. But I think for me, I have to look at myself in the mirror without all that and already feel like slightly different from just being me. So I take into account like so many things. How dramatic do I need to go? Or like say, how natural do I need to look? Um, but obviously even if I'm doing a natural look, I still obviously have to put on sort of more makeup than I would just being, you know, Frankie on the street. I feel comfortable in my own skin. Um, so before a show, it's very important to start with a very clean face. And then I really see myself, I look at myself, you know, and then as the makeup goes on, I definitely start to see that transformation. And then at the end of the show, I kind of come back to, to me again, but it's kind of like a different me. I feel a little, little bit changed for a few hours from, you know, the person that I've been and now um, being myself again. I actually love having so many opportunities to, you know, do my makeup in, in ways that I never would. When you take it all off at the end and suddenly it's just you again, it's actually, you get these two great moments in the day, like being someone else and then coming back to being you. Actually, what I love to do is at the end of the show, I love to take off half my face to just really see the difference between the two. Your body is feeling tired, but even your face looks different after a, after a performance and I look a little bit drained and so it's very tempting to go put on more makeup but I think it's nice to remember who you are again and, and let my skin breathe again. You have to be brave to just be you with no face of makeup to hide behind definitely. It's empowering too but I think it's also you know it, you have to be brave about it and um, I've got to the place where I feel comfortable being like that especially if I do a performance on Saturday evening I will deliberately not wear any makeup on Sunday and it's kind of a bit of a shock to see yourself just as you are but yeah you have to find a, a place to be comfortable with that. For sure, I've had times where my makeup's just not going the way I want it to go. I look in the mirror and I haven't quite captured the character that I want to and it does definitely add to the stress of getting ready to the show and you know it's scary enough going out there in front of 2,000 or more people so when your makeup goes well it's like it's very it's a calming experience and you feel very satisfied but when it doesn't it's difficult. <laughs> Having to do stage makeup 
definitely um, helped me for my own makeup looks, especially when it comes to eye makeup, because I don't think I probably would have been brave enough to try sort of like liquid eyeliner um, as a teenager without having had to do it on stage. And also you learn about your face that way. For me, it's foundation that's the hardest um, thing to match. So my skin tone is darker than maybe a lot of my colleagues and friends in ballet. But I think I've gone through so many different foundations and different shades and now I really understand more about it. I feel very lucky to have had like help around me to, to do that. But actually when I'm on stage, I you have to learn about how the lights are going to affect you as well. So I obviously go for um, paler shades on stage, things that are gonna last for longer, things that are sweat proof, almost waterproof. Um, but then I still don't want it to look like heavy or cakey. There's a lot of makeup tutorials on Instagram and it's interesting to me because I, I see how much contouring is kind of like the trend now. That is a step towards stage makeup. It's more than I would wear in my everyday life, but I kind of take, sometimes I see things online that I think that I might try for stage. And again, it's like a great way to maybe try it out for like going out in the evening or something if I try it on stage first. <laughs> At home, I have my everyday makeup bag, which is very small, very minimal. And then I have um, more makeup for if I want to go out in the evening and add a bit more eye makeup or lips. Um, and then at work at the theater, I have this enormous bag full of just sort of everything you can imagine. Because again, I don't really know what character I might be playing tomorrow. So I just need to have it all there and also, I'm very famous for having an extremely messy changing room, <laughs> but I just have kind of makeup scattered everywhere. And when I'm rushing around, I'm thinking right before I go on stage, or I need more powder, or I need my eyebrow pencil, and I'm just kind of <laughs> trying to find all the stuff at the last second. It's like scattered everywhere. I think I kind of like that way of being. It's kind of like, I suppose, like an artist with their paints, like they don't keep things really neat and organized. It's like happy chaos. <laughs> I think if I was, you know, teaching younger students and and seeing them grow up and learn about themselves, I would just hope that they were making choices that whatever worked for them, knowing that makeup has the power to help you and make you feel more confident and you know love yourself a little bit more. Um, but also if that doesn't feel right for you, then yeah, that's totally your choice. And I just hope that all young girls, they have these two great options, basically. <laughs> these are all things I'm still learning about, but um, I've come a long way <laughs> since my 13-year-old first stage self. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to my beauty truths.